Okay, I'm going to go over the KK 2.0 board. That's a board that I just got from uh, from Hobby King. As you can see, it comes in this fancy little case when you get it from Hobby King to keep it protected from damage during shipping. But anyways, when you get it, it'll look like this. The only other thing it comes with is this little um, beeper module, which allows you to um, hear the sounds and things like that that are coming out of the computer. So that's the only thing that comes with it, and that goes around there like that. Okay, so what I'm going to show you basically is uh, what the computer looks like when it comes right out of the box and kind of show you and go over how we're going to add uh, the voltage measurement feature which is um, included in the computer but you have to wire on a, a special lead to make it happen. So let's just show you what it looks like when you first power it up here. We're just going to use a just a battery, receiver battery. I'll turn this off so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, good. So as you can see on there, basically has the basic information, which is safe, several, safe levels off, and then um, right now there's nothing uh, connected to it, so it has the uh, error for the yaw connector, which just means we haven't hooked up our radio. But the one other thing that's on there, it says battery 0.0, .0 voltage. And when you first get your Hobby King um, 2.0 board, it doesn't have the leads connected on there to measure the voltage. So this is what it looks like when you get it, and we're going to go over how to attach that lead so that when you do have a battery attached to your pack, attached to your board, sorry, it'll actually display the voltage and then we'll go over the voltage alarms um, that are part of that, which is uh, most awesome, one of the most awesome features of this uh, cheap board, which the, when I first bought one of these it was 30 bucks, but now the last one I bought was 20 bucks, so that's a really good bargain. Okay, I'm going to be attaching one of these GST leads um, to the board so that I can hook it up to, um, I actually use these um, power distribution power distribution panels that uh, Hobby King makes, and that this uh, eventually is just connect right onto there, like that. It basically, comes right into your power board, so that it feeds the power from the batteries going directly to your board. So that's why I'm putting this connector. Where really, you can put on any connector you want. The the two points that we're gonna we're gonna look at. Pull my board back in here real quick. So the points that we're going to go for here. Are right here where it says ground. Okay, we're going to touch the negative lead to where it says ground. And we're going to touch the positive lead right here to this little hole. And um, I'm actually going to feed that from the top uh, through into that little hole right there. So um, we're going to get uh, both leads connected to that. It's pretty easy. The hard thing is you're going to have to use a very, very fine tipped uh, soldering. Um, soldering iron just to be able to place a small amount of solder on there and your lead without attaching any of these other connection points that's really careful and the same thing here with this one you want to put just enough solder to make a connection to the board uh, without uh, bleeding over into the rest of your uh, KK2 board. Okay a couple things you're going to need uh, to be able to do this is first of all you're going to need a nice fine tip um, soldering iron like this one, it's got a very fine tip. This one actually doesn't have that fine of a tip, but it's, it'll work fine for this. I don't recommend using a soldering iron, like a heavy duty soldering iron like this, because the tip's just uh, not fine enough to do this kind of work. So in addition to a soldering iron, which is warming up right there, we're also going to need some uh, some fine solder, and I just use this uh, solder egg from Radio Shack, which works fine. What I like to do is actually just take a string of it and just um, cut it off. So I just have a small piece to deal with on my hand. Okay, so if your wires aren't already pre-tinned like, uh, like these ones are, but I'll just show you real quickly how to add a little heat to your wire. Just add a little bit of solder in there and just tin your wire nice and solid and have it nice, nicely ready to prepare. Now the other thing I did with this wire is after I tinned it, I put a little bit of uh, exacto blade on it and thinned it out a little bit, just enough, 
so that would fit through the board. And what I wanted to do is to fit through, through, through that little hole in the board. So I'm actually going to see this little hole right here. So I actually want to fit through that hole from the other side. So what I do is I put it in the hole on the other side, make sure it fits, and that way it comes right up the other side of the hole right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll put this right here. That's it right there. Here on the ground, we're going to have to lay down a little bit of solder first on that connector. Um, basically, tin that connector so that we can um, put the wire down on it. So I'm just going to get my solder tip connected here. Add a little bit of heat to it and then put down. Oops. And just a tiny little bit of solder there, right there on my connector. Before I do that, I'm actually going to clip that a little bit. I don't need that quite as long as it is. I'm going to clip that just a little bit there, just like just enough, just enough wire hanging out of there to make my connection. Okay, flip this around a little bit because I'm right-handed, make it a little easier for me to solder this. Okay, so I got my little a little tab, I'll heat it up there, relay my wire down, put some pressure down on the wire and melt that into the connector. And then boom. Okay, so now we've done the negative connection here to ground. I am going to put in the positive connection here, which is right there. You can tell because it's really the only small hole on the bottom of the board um, that doesn't already have a connection or to a wire to it. As you can see, this looks like what it looks like from the top of the board right there. And then flip it over right here. That's the right connection. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it in from the from this side. Last time I did this, I did it from the other way around, but I think I'm going to try it this way this time. So I have one connection coming from each side of the board. So now you can see where my water's, my wire's coming through, which is right here. So we're going to have to lay down a small amount of solder and some heat to, um, see what I do here, I actually do this to the tip, get it nice and clean. I want a really fine connection. Okay, so let's see if I got this in the camera right here. So I'm going to lay down a little bit of heat right against the connector and the wire. Lay down just enough, just enough solder. I don't think my tip is really that good right now. It's, it's not heating well. As you can see there, that that, that did it. I'm going to look at my connection here afterwards to make sure it looks good. Okay, so we're powered up now. So now you can see that the, um, right now it still says voltage zero zero because I haven't plugged it into my power distribution board here. So now I'm just going to take this, I'm going to plug this into my power distribution board and plus goes on that side and then it goes on that side. Right there. Okay, what does it say now? Now it says 12.5. So now it's reading the connection from the board and um, getting all the power in there. So now I'll go over the menus about how to set up the alarm. Okay, now we've wired up the voltage alarm. We're going to run through and set it up so that it um, goes off when you have your battery connected. So right now you can see it's in safe mode. And right now it says... 12.5 volts, so it's reading our input from the battery connector we just attached to the KK board, and now we're going to go through and set up the alarm. So we hit menu, okay, then we go down to miscellaneous settings, we hit enter, okay. Now we're going to go down, which is next, down to alarm one-tenth volts, 
Now this is one tenth the volts, so we want if I want 10.5 volts, it's going to be 105. So we're going to hit change, and we're going to go up to 105. Down, 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 down. Okay, so 105 is 10.5 volts. Um, 110 is 11 volts. 112 is I'm sorry, uh, one, one, uh, 110 is 11 volts, 120 is 12 volts. So um, just to show you how the alarm works, after, after you put your 10.5 in, you go like that and hit back and back, and now you're good. So right now the alarm will go off at 10.5 volts. But I have to crank the voltage uh, alarm up above 12.5 to be able to hear what the alarm sounds like. So we'll go menu, miscellaneous settings, we're going to go enter. We're going to go next, 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 down to that, change. Okay, let's crank it up to 12.6, uh, because then we're at, uh, oops, because we are at 12.5 uh, right now. Okay, done. Back, back. Okay, right now, so it says, says 12.5. Let's see, there's the alarm goes off. Okay, because says 12.5 and I have the alarm set for 12.6. When the alarm first starts going off, it's a very slow tone like this. The farther it gets away from the battery alarm voltage I've set in the computer, the faster the tone goes. And I'll show you. I'll crank it up to 13 or so and we'll see what that sounds like. Okay, get back. Okay, we hit enter. We're going to go next, next, next. We're going to go change. We're going to change this up to, let's do 12.9. Done. Back. Back. Okay, so now we're at 12. See how the, see the, the beeping is faster now? Because it's farther away from, from, the, from the voltage. And you can see that as we go more farther away from our target voltage, so let's crank it up to 13.5 this time. hear what that sounds like. Back. Back. 